Dang it. They got us. I'm still throbbing from Kasane's attacks. Not another word. I hate that we're related. We've got you now. Give up. <laughs> I just got a good idea. You said Naomi is in there. Seems like a good opportunity to try out the other weapons. Whoa, Yuta. That's messed up. No, don't! It's showtime! So they really do obey your commands. Whoever came up with this is sick in the head. Naomi! Oh, is this what they call overkill? I wanted to take Kasane home with me and make her my pet. Naomi, can you hear me? It's me, Kasane! Kasane... What? What is this attack? Suo reinforcements? No, it's... To get to. It's a design children army. Damn it, they came after Kasane. Who are those guys? They just straight up ruined my plan! Well, I'm not getting caught in the middle of this. It sucks to lose the other weapons, but hey, their survival didn't really matter to the plan anyway. Looks like they're after you guys. Have fun now! Show them a good time for us. Until we meet again, Kasane, we'll be sure to have lots of fun together next time. They just teleported out. I still had a lot of questions for them. These guys really don't hold back. Their tactics only work because they're using disposable design children. I can't get through to any of them. They've shut off all the connections I used in Togetsu. Guess they're not interested in talking. Do we have an escape plan? I'm looking, but I've got nothing. There's no way out of this unless you can teleport out of there. What are you saying? Everything's okay. Naomi? I finally understand why I was turned into this other. It was to protect you. What are you talking about? I'll draw them away. You can't take them on all alone, even if you are another. I'm not alone. Everyone said they would help, too. Don't, Naomi. You can't. I'll find another way out. I'm sorry. You always had to take care of me. Let me be your big sister this one last time. <laughs> Everyone, we need to get to safety. She would want us to survive. Okay, let's go. I gotta say, this that just happened, not nearly as good of a plot twist as the one that I had in mind some episodes ago. <laughs> Naomi! Naomi! Unless Kasane herself turns into the villain now, then it would be great. Looks like we made it. 
Naomi and the others. Naomi! 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 Wait! So they escaped like three steps to the side? What the fuck? Okay, I'll, we'll check on your sister, but we're gonna get some items before. Is that okay? Are you cool with that? Naomi, what happened to Naomi? No, you're not cool with that. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Naomi! Naomi? Oh no. Naomi. You can't die. I need you. Hey, when you become such a crybaby. <gasps> Hello, Kasane. Naomi, you're alive. Thank goodness. You came back for me, Kasane. Even though it put you all in such danger. I'm glad you're okay. I couldn't bear if something happened to you. Naomi, your injuries. Are you in pain? No, I don't feel them. They can't hurt me anymore. <sighs> Becoming this monstrous thing. Using drugs made of human brains if I wanted to keep being myself. It was so... <laughs> awful. I wanted to die. <laughs> but I'm glad I was alive today. I'm so glad. Hold on, Naomi. What are you saying? I was here... to perform one final act of humanity. They made me this, but they couldn't take away my soul. Thank you, Kasane, my sister. Live a long life for both of us. Leave me. No. Naomi, <laughs> why? Where have you been, Karin? Alice. I failed again. <laughs> Major General Karin? I have to use this again. What are you talking about? They killed my sister! Why did she have to die to protect me? Why did this have to happen to her? Silence. We can use the red strings. <laughs> Karin, are you eating her power? <gasps> this happened before. I'll try again. As many times as it takes. Yuito, where is he right now? He's gone. He must have teleported. Did he just say Yuito? You're right. That was his brain eater. He just copied my red strings. 
Yes, but he didn't appear to use it. Since Major General Karin is not a Red Strings user like Kasane, he might need some sort of condition to activate the power. Could that condition be Yuito? If we take the connection between time travel and the Kunad Gate into account, Karin is trying to get his hands on the power that opened the Kunad Gate. But why is he trying to travel through time? Alice was definitely one of those among the others. Is he intending to go back and... Who the heck is Alice? I don't care about what Karin wants. If he uses the red strings, it might have adverse effects on the Kunad Gate. <laughs> Don't try to push yourself. His brain eater power taxes your brain heavily. If that's true, then what about Yuito? Didn't they say his brain was already messed up or something? Yuito might not be able to withstand the brain eater. All the more reason to stop Karin. We'll need to contact him. Yuito Platoon is currently within Arahabaki's secure site and isolated from the network. Arahabaki? Really? Yes. After what Major General Karin said, I managed to get Wataru to tell me Yuito's location. Oh, you might already know this, but Wataru is my brother. He is Yuito Platoon's operator. He's concerned because he lost contact with them too. He wasn't sure if his telepathy was reaching them. Okay, thank you. Arahabaki is in Suo. It looks like that's where we're going. Great. Not only Togetsu, but now we have Major General Karin to add to the list of people trying to mess with the Red Strings. Are you alright, Kasane? It sounds like Yuito is in danger. I know you're worried about him too, Naomi. That's why I'm going to go save him. It still doesn't feel real to me. How could you be gone? I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. Thank you. Thank you for protecting me until the very end. Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. Hey, you still haven't answered me. Who is this Alice? She's Fubuki and Karin's childhood friend. And Fubuki's fiance. But she became an other a long time ago. That's why she was in the same lab as Naomi. So I, I've been playing this for what now, 20 hours? I have a suggestion, if you would allow me, developers. Here's the thing. The motivation of your main party, of your main plot, it can develop, but it should not change. Those are different things. If the motivation of the party keeps changing, that is just really fucking annoying. I never know what I'm doing. I never know the motivations of anyone. There is no sense in this plot. Everything is just completely fucking random. At one point, we're fighting a guy, and then he's our ally, and then there's people from the moon, and then our sister is a monster. And this is just ridiculous. It's just like... I don't think this plot wants to be taken seriously. I think this is all profound melodrama because drugs made of human brains. And it's just like... If you had any hopes of this not being complete bullshit, you squandered that a while ago. This is... At this point, this is bordering on schizophrenia. There is no sense in this. And... When I first heard about this game... People made it look like it was an action game, like Devil May Cry. And the very first few hours of the game revealed to me that that was not the case. This is an... This is 100% a JRPG with really good combat. And that's a plus, that's like, that's a positive thing. I like that. It's a, it's a JRPG with a really, really good active combat. And that's awesome. 
I swear, I'm 100% behind that. The thing, the issue here is that if it is an RPG and if that's the merit that you want me to take the game on, the story has to not be completely fucking crazy. There needs to be some level of cohesion. I'm not asking for much, I'm asking like for basic cohesion. Being 30 hours into the plot and then suddenly people from the moon is a little bit too much. Don't get me wrong, it's not like you can you can have that plot. You can be 20 hours in and have had a revelation that, oh, by the way, we are 5,000 years in the future or whatever. And the Earth has been recolonized and the, the real humans are in the moon or whatever the fuck is actually happening in this plot. I can't barely follow it anymore. But it's like, if you're going to make if you're going to make that plot, if you're going to make that that thing as a narrative device, make it mean something. It has to have some sort of weight to it. Because we were at that thing, at that place, at that facility, we were in Togetsu and we learned a bunch of shit. And then we are here, back again, doing the same shit. Still talking about Naomi and now there is a whole other thing and then there is time travel and the answer is from the past and it's like holy shit just like pick a thing you don't you don't need to be this pluralized in your story I would have much much preferred to have some fucking focus in this thing I need to get this like out of my chest because this is really bothering me this game is good, I really like it. This game has no need to be 20 hours long. Or however many godforsaken hours it's going to end up being in the end. It's just like, there is no need for this. And... It is going to end up detracting from the game. Because if the game was like 15 hours between the two, each part, like if Kasane's story was 15 hours, and then Yuito's story is another 15 hours. That is a good 30 hours of gameplay with really good combat. And hopefully a more cohesive and concise story. But we are bothering on... I, I have given up on, on this game ending anytime soon. I think it's going to be another... Not another 20, but maybe another 10 hours of gameplay here. Before we actually get anything that gets anywhere close to some sort of resolution of any real kind. And that's like way too much. <laughs> that is way too much. Because it's just like when I, I really want to play the Yuito side of the story. Especially because I really wonder how different it would be. Because Yuito really seems to have like his own thing. Because for instance when he when he mentions to us the thing about the, the people on the moon, which to us came as a complete surprise. It seemed like that was a thing that he was already privy to for like a really long time. So it's just like, I wonder when in the plot does that revelation come to him? I'm really legit very curious about that. I wonder how much of this is just this story being absolutely fucking crazy because I do think that's a part of it at least. But I wonder how much of it is just I chose the wrong protagonist, so to speak. I should have started the game with Yuito and the fact that I did not got me in this position where I got a much, perhaps not weaker, but more scattered 
version of the plot. And but here's the thing, right? And, and I think this is really important. This is a game design decision. If your game doesn't make sense, if you play it with the with the lady character, if she is supposed to be your second playthrough, don't allow her as a first playthrough. Have some have, have some fucking balls and just be like, no, this is the game, this is the way that I designed this game, and this is how the game is going to be played. If you want to play the girl, you have to play the guy first. And you're just like, ah, I am so frustrated with this game. Because I like it. I really, really like it. But it's just like, the longer I play it, the less I can make excuses for it. Because it's dragging on really hard at this point. It's not over yet. This seems to me like one of those games that would be like, I like this game a lot. Now that I am 20 hours deep, by the time that I actually end the game, which will probably be like 40 hours, if not 60, I don't think I will like it that much anymore. And I won't even see the other side of the story that I really wanted to see. Maybe I will just search for another let's play of it and be like, okay, I want to see what Yuito's side is all about, but I don't want to play it. Because it would just be this, or really, if the game annoys me to that point, I would not even see it, I would just like, okay, Wikipedia, what's up? Try to find an article that just summarizes his, his side of the story and be like, this is when things happen as per Yuito's perspective. And yeah, it's just... I don't know, man. I, I am... I am trying. I am legit trying to... appreciate and be... positive about the game. Because again, I do like it. I do think it's a good game. Even with all the fucking apologizing and melodrama and... A lot of bullshit that exists on it. I still think the game's good. But it's just like... Ah, uh, I... I just... I just wish the story was a little bit... More... You know, refined, I guess. Because fuck, it needs it. It needs it so bad. But the game is fun, the gameplay is fun. Like, it's a fun game to play. And... God, that shit is rare nowadays. <laughs> it's like, you don't find games that are like, just a good time to play all that often. It's, which in and of itself is like completely bizarre. Like, there's no reason why that would be, but here we are anyway. Games are... Uh, so many games are just like chores and it's just like completely uninteresting gameplay. And this is fun. This is... And I don't know if I can... If I can show to you like how... This is pretty repetitive, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Once I... There are a few combos that definitely work much better than others and now that I know sort of relatively well which ones those are it's just like <laughs> finding the combat has become a, a thing of maybe using two or three different combos and I don't know there's like nothing wrong with that really it's fine I use the combos that I like there are a million others I'm not even faulting the game on that. Actually, I think this is profoundly praiseworthy. The fact that I've been using the same two or three combos for the majority of this playthrough. And it still feels interesting to me. And I think a lot of that has to do with the environmental stuff. The L2 stuff that we do that summons <laughs> all manner of scenery into the attacks. And that's like, that never ceases to be interesting. 
it's just a really good time seeing like the new kinds of things that we can do with the scenery. The monster design is also really good. There's a lot of good stuff in this game, like a lot of it. But it just... It is all surrounded and compounded by this mess, this absolute fucking mess of a plot. <laughs> 